Hey, welcome back. I recently picked up some safe moon coins and I thought it would be an easy job, but it's, it's not. There's quite a few steps involved. So what I thought I'd do for today's video is walk you through each of those steps and how to get them into your own wallet. And we're gonna do that right now. All right, so before we begin all the fun stuff, let's take a look at what you're gonna need. So the first thing you're gonna need is to install the Trust Wallet. So if you haven't already done that, if you look in the description below, you can find this video on how to install it on your mobile device. Next, what you wanna do is inside Trust Wallet, we want to enable Safe Moon. So once we've enabled Safe Moon, we're gonna be able to receive the coin and then it'll appear in our wallet easily accessible. After we've done that, we're gonna move over and we're gonna buy some BNB. So we're gonna be buying BNB from Binance. You can buy it from anywhere you want to. I'm using Binance because I'm trying to simplify this process as easy as possible. So we're gonna be doing that and then we're gonna transfer the BNB coins into our trust wallet. Then once we've done that, we're gonna swap the BNB coins for the smart chain. And finally, when we have smart chain, we can go into Pancake and buy SafeMoon. Confused yet? <laughs> so was I. And I'm gonna walk you through each step, step by step, so it's as painless as possible. I've also added timestamps in the description so you can jump ahead, back, forward, pause, whatever you need to do to do this step by step. So let's begin with the Trust Wallet. And the Trust Wallet in this video, we'll be doing it on an Android device, but it's gonna be very similar to an Apple device. You'll just need to do one more stage, which is enabling access to the Trust Browser. For this installation, I'm gonna be running through it fairly quickly because it's pretty simple. But if you wanna go through the full format, the link is in the description below to walk you through all the stages. So we'll begin in the Google Play Store and search for a Trust Wallet. Then you click on install, it installs, and then you can tap on open. We're gonna create a new wallet. We're gonna to agree to the privacy policy, and then we're gonna create a backup. We'll be asked to copy our passphrase. Once that's complete, we're done and we're at the main window. Now let's add SafeMoon to our wallet. So for us to do that, we wanna click on the options menu at the top. In here, we're gonna type in SafeMoon and it'll populate in the list and it'll be the only one that's in there. We're gonna select enable. We'll head back to the main screen and then we can see that SafeMoon has now added to our wallet. So now what you wanna do is buy some BNB coins and you can do this on any exchange. I'm gonna use Binance, but you can buy it however you feel comfortable with it. So what I'll do is I'm gonna log into my account. I have a little bit of extra Bitcoin, so I'll be buying it with that and I'll be doing the transaction. And once I have the BNB points purchased, I'm then gonna transfer it to my trust wallet. So let's just quickly take a look at that. So I'm in my Binance app, I'm gonna select convert. Uh, we have Bitcoin in here and then I'll select to BNB and I'll be converting the max amount that I have, which is just about $400. So we'll click on purse conversion. It'll take a few seconds in here while it processes it. It's been converted. And now I'll switch over to my trust wallet and ready to receive BNB here. So I'll copy the address and I'll switch back over to Binance. And in the address field, I'm gonna paste the address I just copied. The network should be left as BEP2. We'll leave that as default. And in the memo, I don't believe I need anything, but the amount, I'll max it out here, and then I'll tap on withdraw. Now it's asking me about not filling in the memo. I'm pretty sure I don't need to fill it in, but let me just quickly double check. Let me just switch over here. Okay, yep, I don't need to put in any memo. It says no memo required. So I'll go back in here, and now I can tap on withdrawal. And I can confirm, and then that money has been sent out of my Binance account into my Trust Wallet. So it's been sent out, it takes some time. It can take a lot of time actually, uh, long enough for you to start questioning life choices. For me, it took four hours for it to be received on the other end. Sometimes I heard it takes up to 12 hours. It's all over the place. It does take some time, but it will show up. Assuming you got the address correct, make sure you have the address correct. So we're back at the wallet and now we're ready to go through the last couple of steps here. And we wanna take the BNB that we just received and swap it to Smart Chain. So in order for us to do that, we wanna click on the dex button at the bottom and then click on swap at the top make sure that's selected and then we can search for the coin or token which is going to be bnb and then we want to click on smart chain because that's what we're going to be switching it to so now you can see that we're taking the bnb coins that we have and we're switching it over or swapping it over to smart chain 
Now you can select whichever amount that you want. You can select it in percentages, whether it's 25, 50, 75, or 100, and then you can click on swap, and that will instantly take place. Um, there's a small fee that goes along with that, so please take note of the fees. And now we're back at the main window where all our tokens are listed and we're ready to buy SafeMoon. So for us to do that, what we need to do is click on the DAPS button at the bottom. And in here, we're going to scroll down and find PancakeSwap. So once we've located it, we can click on it and open it up. And now we need to connect. So the connect option is in the top right hand corner. We'll select that. And then it's going to ask us to authenticate. We're using the Trust Wallet. So we're going to select Trust Wallet. And then we've just signed in. Now we can scroll down a bit here and we can see that swap is already selected. The BNB Smart Chain is there right now, so that's great. And then we can select the currency that we want to swap it to, which is SafeMoon. It shows up right away, but if it doesn't show up, you can just type in SafeMoon and then it'll pop up. So when you select it, it's letting you know that you have to change your slippage tolerance to 12%. When you buy highly volatile coins like SafeMoon that has a chance of jumping up and down quite a bit, uh, slippage is going to be required. So slippage is the span that it could jump in that period of time. They're suggesting 12%. This coin can actually move up and down 12% within seconds. So we want to select 12% as our slippage and that's what we'll do now. So we'll adjust that by clicking on the options menu at the top and then we'll change this one into a 12 and then we can hit the X in the corner close out of the window and then you can see the slippage tolerance is now 12%. And now you enter in how much smart chain you want to convert and then enter in the amount and then click on enter and that amount will then be swapped over into SafeMoon. Then you can head back over to your main wallet. You can select your SafeMoon option. It'll then update once it's been converted into your wallet and that's how you buy it. So we've walked you through all the steps. Now it's up to you whether you actually want to buy SafeMoon or not. There's a lot of people saying it's highly volatile and there's a lot of questions around it altogether, but your bunny is none of my business. So the purpose of the video is just to show you how to buy SafeMoon in the easiest possible way. There might be some things I missed. Please let me know in the description below. I'll put a link to the blog post and outlining these steps step by step uh, so we can update them over a period of time if I've missed anything. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. If you wanna see more tutorials like this, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.